Congratulations to St. John's. I thought they played a good game. You know, I'm really, really, really disappointed with our team's defense again. You know, it's become a, a pattern of behavior the last two games. And things got changed. You know, I told our guys, listen, hey, if, uh, if you want to play more minutes, um, you got to man up. Didn't matter whether we were in zone, man, undisciplined, going for shot fakes, not guarding the ball, uh, allowing guys to be way too comfortable on the catch, getting rhythm threes. Just a joke. Absolute joke. I feel like we're back to day one defensively, and we got to figure it out because none of the opponents that we're playing here moving forward are going to feel sorry for, our, for us. If we think that we're going to go into games outscoring our opponents in the Big East, we will continue to take losses. We have to figure out that end. Disappointed. Question? Adam? Travis, do you feel like it's uh, more a question of your guys understanding what you guys are trying to do defensively or executing it or both? Like what's going on at that end? Yeah, I would say it has no, no little to do, to, probably none. They know exactly what they're supposed to do. We haven't changed since whatever the heck the first day of practice was, practice number one. We haven't changed. We run a pack line, man-to-man -man defensive team. We go high hands on the closeout, no shot space. We jump to the ball. We guard ball screens the same, off screens the same. We don't change game to game. We have two guys get back on the lift of the shot, supposed to be back. Guys got to talk and transition, got to have urgency. It's got to change, man. It's got to change. And I'm going to find five guys. The problem is for us tonight, it's like we start to go to the bench, man, and I see the same problems. See the same problems. And it's like, man, I got to get It's like you're feeling like you're plugging holes in the dike right now. It's like, hey, man, he's not guarding. Well, he's not guarding. He's not guarding. We got to be a lot more disciplined, and we got to have a different mindset. Every loose ball St. John's got. Every one. Every one. And that can't happen. That, the game's got to mean more to Xavier than it does our opponents. It's got to change, and that's on me, and that's going to change starting tomorrow in practice. Man, we have got to get their defensive end figured out. We're going to score enough points. Offensively, we will be fine. Our ball will move. Again, I know we didn't shoot it particularly well from three tonight. I, I'm good with that. It's about the defensive end. If we want to have any success in this league, we got to start getting stops. Next question. Joe. Coach, you guys have lost two in a row. Just what's the sense of urgency at this point right now, heading into a pretty key stretch? Got Butler on Sunday, Providence coming up. Yeah, I think I think every game you got to have high level of urgency, Joe. I mean, it doesn't matter who you're playing and where it's at, when the game's played, it does not matter. We got a lot to play for. We got a lot to play for. And like I said, man, like I, I'm tired of people. Again, people in the media always keep on talking about this COVID stuff layoff. I do not care about it. We don't care about it. We're going to continue to play. We're going to continue to work. Every game matters. Like I said, all of our goals are still intact. You know, we got a lot to play for. So, but again, that urgency better show on the defensive end, not on the offensive end, not on the offensive end. It better show on the defensive end. If there's a loose ball, Xavier better be the freaking first team on the floor. That's got to change. That's got to change. That's a mindset. That's not a habit. That's a mindset, and that's got to change for our team. Adam. Is it hard right now for you to understand why that mindset's not there when, you know, there's only a few weeks left here in the regular season? Yeah, it's mind boggling, Adam. We got a lot to play for. But here's the thing. So I, I told our guys this. I said, everybody's going to try to tear our team apart. What happens? All of a sudden, you take a couple losses, hit a little adversity. You know, it, it, you know adversity introduces a man to himself. We're going to find out what we're made of. We're going to find out. We're still in a good spot. But listen, like I said, we got another great opportunity as Butler. But we got a guard. You, We got a guard. It, it starts with the mindset. It starts with the habits. It's it's all encompassing, right? There's there's a multitude of issues that we have on the defensive end right now. And we got to get cleaned up. And, um, and ultimately, that's on me. I got to figure it out. I trust our guys. I know who we have in our locker room. I love our team. I believe in our guys. I know that we can get this corrected. I know that we can get it corrected, but we need to make we need to get it corrected now and not in a week. Adam. You know, after these last two games, 
um, when you get these guys in a room and you talk to them after a performance like this, what, what's their response? Like, what are they giving back to you when, when you give this to them? That they want to fix it. Our guys want to fix it. Our guys want to win. They want, they, again, I, but again, like they have to win. You have to do the things that aren't glorified in order to win. And to me, it, look, it appears like our team right now is just trying to outscore teams. That's not going to happen in this league. We got to have more fight on the defensive end. We got to make teams miss. We can't hope that teams miss. We got to embrace physicality. Um, but they say the right things, Adam. I mean, like they, 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 you know, from the leadership that I get from Paul, that our team gets from Paul, Jason, and Zach, they're saying all the right things. And I, and I truly, they want to win. They do. But we got to get it figured out. We got to get it corrected, man. So it's and everybody's got to man up. It's not just one guy. It, it's it's our entire team, our staff, our manager. Everybody in our whole organization has to be better. Nate, Travis, I thought Kobe Jones played a pretty good game today. He had twenty points and six boards. Have you been impressed with kind of how he's been able to improve during this kind of goofy season with all the layoffs? Yeah, man, he's, he's had – Colby's a tremendous player. Um, you know, he, he's had a weird year for, you know, being a freshman. I mean, he sat out the first five games, and all of a sudden he didn't do anything for 17 days. And, and then he's had to sit out the Butler game. He's kind of in and out. It's just kind of been weird to kind of get any rhythm, right? But Colby, so, he's a smart kid. Um, he's a winner. He plays to win. I'm not surprised uh, with his development. I think his development's been somewhat stunted this year just – because it's been a little bit funky, especially the last month and a half. But you can still see the progress that he's made as a player. Um, he's going to be a really, really good one, really good one for us. Um, one last question from Adam. Travis, did did anyone play to your standards defensively tonight? Anyone that you noticed? I would say none. And, that, and that's the disappointing thing, Adam. It's like you start going to the bench, right? And you start saying, okay, well, maybe we just try to give this guy a shot. <laughs> Right. And maybe it, maybe our defense will get a little better, you know, and then it was like, man, well, no, that's, that's not really getting any better. It looks like the same stuff. Um, so, no, I would say defensively without watching film, I felt like everybody, uh, nobody was was doing it to our standard. But again, give credit to St. John's. That's not to take away from what St. John's had and how they played. I want to make that loud and clear, uh, but we got to be better.